Hi everyone, it's Veronica from Blue Star Crochet. Welcome to another crochet stitch tutorial. In this one, I would like to show you how to work this beautiful crochet stitch with a very subtle texture. It's called the tweed stitch and as you can see, um, it's very easy to make and it looks really really nice it's one of those textured stitches that doesn't actually eat a lot of yarn but still provides you with a beautiful texture um, it is quite stretchy widthways as you can see and this is the stretch lengthways so it is quite a good stitch um, to use i'm planning to use this stitch for a garment um, it's going to be a nice cozy chunky cardigan or kind of sleeveless cardigan maybe see, see how we go see where the design takes us um, i'm using a tweed delight yarn this is from hobby i will um, leave a link in the description for this video if you wanted to check the yarn out so um, yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. So for the tweed stitch, you will need multiples of three plus two. I get asked quite often, what does this mean? Uh, how do I do this? How do I size this up and down? So basically, um, each one of these um, little clusters of stitches that basically needs three chain stitches to complete this little cluster so depending on how many clusters you will need for whatever you're making you will chain multiples of three in order to be able to finish each of these clusters so say if you wanted um, something depending on the measurement if you wanted something with 10 clusters across you will then chain 30 chain stitches and add two extra stitches because the multiple is asking for uh, multiples of three plus two the plus two stitches is uh, very often for uh, the cluster to kind of be finished off because um, as you will see when we start working on a stitch um, we will um, need one extra stitch at the end um, of each row to kind of move the cluster over and finish it off and the other extra stitch is because the first stitch when we start is a single crochet stitch and um, in order to work single crochet stitch into the starting chain, um, you obviously need to work into the second chain from the hook. So that's where the two um, extra stitches are needed. So again, for this tweed stitch, you will need multiples of three plus two. Okay, so um, keeping that in mind that we need multiples of three plus two, I have chained 17 stitches to start with. Um, so that's uh, multiples of three up to 15 plus my two extra stitches takes me up to 17. So I've got a chain of 17 to work up this sample and as you can see I'm going to start working in the second chain from the hook and I'm going to work one single crochet into the second chain from the hook okay now into the same chain I've just placed a single crochet I am going to work two double crochet so that's my first one and a second double crochet there we go now we're going to miss two chains so that's one chain second chain and we're going to work into the third chain here and again i'm going to work one single crochet and two double crochet in the very same stitch like this so that's one two so now you can see that um, each of these little clusters repeats over three chains so we need the one chain where you work all three stitches into then we're going to skip two chains and work in the next chain and i'm going to place another single crochet and two double crochet all in the same stitch and again miss two chains and work one single crochet and two double crochet and this is basically your repeat um, until 
we work across all the chain stitches. So single crochet and two double crochet. And you're gonna basically repeat this all across your foundation chain until you've got the three chains left at the very end. And after you finish your last cluster of single crochet and two double crochets, we're going to miss the following two stitches. And this is where our extra chain um, comes in handy because we're going to place one single crochet into the very last chain in order to kind of um, pull the cluster over and finish off the row and kind of fix it to the um, foundation chain. So that's the first row. Now we're going to turn and I'm going to chain one. This chain one doesn't count as a stitch. Um, this is just to gain a little bit of height because we're going to work into the first stitch here, which is the uh, last single crochet of the previous um, row. And I'm going to place one single crochet in that first stitch like this. And in the very same stitch, I'm going to place two double crochets again. So I'm going to finish off this cluster. Okay. And now we've got the two double crochet in front of us from previous round. So I'm going to skip these two stitches and I'm going to find this little single crochet here, which is slightly tucked in between the double crochets, but don't miss it. So I'm going to miss these two stitches and I'm going to work into this single crochet. And again, I'm going to work one single crochet into that single crochet. And in the very same stitch, I'm going to again place two double crochets. Like this. And again, we're going to skip the following two stitches, which are the two double crochet stitches from first row. And I'm going to find this single crochet, which is tucked in between. And again, place one single crochet and two double crochets into that stitch and here we are we're gonna miss the following two stitches and work into the single crochet again by placing single crochet and two double crochet stitches and we're on to this last cluster miss the two double crochet and work into the next single crochet so we're going to place one single crochet and two double crochets into that stitch and we come to the very last three stitches here so i'm going to miss the following two double crochets and here is the very first single crochet of the row so i'm going to place one single crochet in that last stitch to kind of again pull the little cluster over and fix it to the previous row and this is basically the repeat um you can repeat as many rows as you like um for your project and yeah this was the tweed stitch and i hope you like it because it's it's a really beautiful texture it kind of shows off um the tweed yarn as well and it looks um nice and textured in the solid yarn as well um and like i said i'll be using this stitch in my next project um so get your heads up and you can learn the stitch before the pattern comes out um, I will link uh, the pattern in the description for this video once it's live on my blog bluestarcrochet.com meanwhile you're more than welcome to head over there now there is plenty of free patterns and tutorials um, if you enjoyed this one please please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel to be able to um, for me to produce more uh, videos for you. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye